The fruit fly problem is an increasing threat to international trade and profitable of fruit production. The fruit flies are capable of causing significant economic damages because they have several generations per season and have become resistant to commonly used pesticides. This has not only affected farmers economically, but has also enhanced excessive use of pesticides, which has adverse effects on the farmers and their consumers in the long run. We did a market survey in um, mango production in Kenya, among other crops, and we found that there was actually a need to control one of the major pests, in this case, it's fruit flies. So due to over-reliance of um, synthetic pesticides and synthetic chemicals, there has arisen an issue of residue in the produce that farmers produce. That has actually locked us from the export market. In terms of the fruits we were able to export, the markets that we were able to export to. Real IPM development program for fruit flies joined forces with researchers from International Center of Insects, Physiology and Ecology to create an auto dissemination device. So we looked around in the market what is existing in the market and found that there was a gap existing. The devices in the, actual, in the market actually address only one particular species of fruit flies. And from research we have shown that there are very many species of fruit flies existing. So the traps in the market actually take care of one, which is Bactrocera invadens, or the invader fly, which is the most common fly in mango production here in Kenya. So we fabricated a device that is able to take care of all the fruit flies, both male and female. The fruit fly park has one auto dissemination device, MET69 recharge pack and MET69 OD soil drench. So this is what you string up here with the three holes that you can see on top here with the string flowing in the orchard. Then we have a green powder. <coughs> this is called Metarizium 69 powder. This is what essentially will kill the fruit flies. So you apply it here in the velvet material that you can see on the device. One gram is enough for one device. In one acre piece of land, one needs four auto dissemination devices. You set them as soon as the flowering begins. So that's how you string up the, the plug. One device treats the trees in 24 meters yeah. squared. All the adult fruit flies of all species are attracted to the device by the molasses and because of the dividing plate, they don't fall. Instead, they enter the top section only to pick up MET69 spores. They leave the top section alive, but with the spores. It takes three to five days for the MET69 to kill the fruit fly. During this time, the fly will have spread the spores to both male and female adults. So once they get inside, they will be able to pick up the powder or the Metarizium 69 spores, which essentially will kill them three or five days later. Once they've picked the spores, they fly out. And because the fruit flies are social beings, they go out to the interactions as they meet. They're able to transfer the powder from one fly to the next. So in that way, we have what is called horizontal transmission. And that can happen within three weeks. Use two soil drenches per season, six weeks apart. The MET69 soil drench will not only kill the fruit fly, parasitoids in soil, but other flies as well, as all species of fruit flies must pupate in the soil. From the soil, the larvae is able to burrow into the soil, five centimeters on top. Now that is where it goes into a resting phase, or what is called a pupa. Now if you do not eliminate these pupal stages of this resting phase, that will be the source of the fruit fly that is going to come back one week later and infect your fruits. So uh, this metarizium product that you see here is actually used as a drench or as a soil application. You just drench underneath the trees or underneath the crop. And in that way, the fruit fly or the pupa stages in the soil is able to be infected and hence the cycle is broken. According to Sebastian Duva, the small-scale farmer development manager at Real IPM, by use of the device, farmers can reduce the use of other pesticides by 
They offer pharma training which covers all pests and diseases. So far, they are working with over 6,000 farmers across the country. Marita Salvin, GBS News.